this year we decided to do EDC Las Vegas. And, as it turns out, it was an adventure of a lifetime. We explored parts of Las Vegas, saw some really cool things, and actually some really cool people. But most of all, we created some amazing memories that we'll cherish forever. I decided to take all the footage I recorded on my iPhone and compile the experience into this video. So sit back, relax, and join us while we share our experience of Las Vegas and EDC. Our journey begins at the start of an amazing view, the Las Vegas Strip. Absolutely breathtaking, outstanding. You have plenty of Hollywood right here, you have the Paris right here. Because the first thing I noticed about Vegas is how just everything is super lit up. My mood just completely changed. It was like, I'm here with like everybody. You could see down the strip in both directions. You could hear the roar of the crowd. Right when we got there, our I don't know, minds were blown <laughs> looking at everything that was around us. While in Vegas, we stayed at the Cosmopolitan. The Cosmo is an amazing five-star hotel right on the strip on Harmon Avenue. Cool street name, I know. The Cosmopolitan Hotel in Las Vegas is the nicest hotel I've ever been in, been stayed at, or been a part of. Pillars all over the place in the lobby. It's really, really, really fancy, like over the top, almost gaudy with how many chandeliers and sparkly things and crystals they have. It felt kind of like from like a James Bond movie and shot like a martini walking around the whole time. This thing is fucking massive. Yeah, just a huge, beautiful hotel. I'm now running loyal to the Cosmo because that was an amazing hotel. I first learned about the Cosmo when I saw their TV commercial years ago. I was thinking it might be a Pepsi or a Coke commercial, but it turned out to be a Vegas resort. Who knew? I kind of felt like I was in Ocean's Eleven. And now, having stayed there, I can say with certainty it was an amazing experience. Every corner would have some sort of artsy piece, like statues of dogs or a chromed out dinosaur skull. Seriously, a chromed out dinosaur skull. Without a doubt, this resort was something else. It was like, it was breathtaking. You could see down the strip and you could see everything as far as I could see. I think you could almost like see like where the festival was. It was that high up. But just to look out and realize that we are here, this is about to happen. We have the best vacation of our lives ahead of us. Um, but that night we walked with everybody for the most people's first time ever being in Vegas. The craziest thing that I remember about Vegas is at two in the morning, it's as lively as it is at noon or at 6 p.m. Vegas is just out of this world. It was just really, really cool to see everybody react to how crazy the streets are with all the performers, all the acts, all the different things that you see. You see the universe, the infinite possibilities, anything can happen. The whole city was so alive. And just the diversity of people that are walking around. There's street performance all going on. There can be people painting, there can be people dancing, there can be people rapping, there can be people playing guitar. Uh, it's, it's amazing. Um, you have old people going on their, you know, 60th wedding anniversary and you have newlyweds hanging out, people on their 21st birthdays, and then just ravers and EDC headliners everywhere. They were like breakdancing, I think, and, but there's like a whole crowd that came around them. There was just so much energy there. I was like, oh man, I couldn't believe this dude. It's fat trees that had those big drinks. I remember that was like the glare thing. Everyone had told us like, if you're gonna go to Vegas, you have to go to Fat Tuesday, you have to walk the strip and get one of these big drinks. Initially, I wasn't really up for the whole Fat Tuesday thing. I know everyone told us. Got Fat Tuesday, got huge drinks, and then we went inside the Venetian. It's, prob it's probably two in the morning and we're walking through this hotel and then you walk like through these double doors into this corridor that is just, it looks like you're like transported. Even in the middle of the night you walk in, it looks like the middle of the day, and it looks like you're in the middle of Italy in a beautiful piazza, pizza, however you say that word. I remember walking up to the waterfall with everybody, 
and taking a picture with like the whole group and I have a really cool black and white picture of just everyone that was with us that night. You walked in, it was lit up so brightly. There's clouds in the sky, blue sky. It looked like it was 10 o'clock in the morning. You're in Italy. There's gondolas going on the side. Everything else about it was just so beautiful. But you were in different places of Italy. That you were in Rome, that you were in the Vatican, that you were in Venice, that you were on a gondola, that you were walking through old statues all over the place. Vegas in one word. Ooh. Hmm. I, ah, man. Uh, that's a fucking good question. So, the word, I would say, this is a hyphenated word. It's unique. It's centric. It's a black hole of u uniqueness. <laughs> Beautiful. Epic. A playground. <laughs> it's like adults in a playground. You can do anything you want. Perfectly unexplainable happiness. Luminous? It just was alive. Everywhere you went, no matter what time of day, there was always a bunch of people up doing stuff. It's for you to do everything you've ever desired ever. There's a way, and there's an avenue for you to do that, so it's a great place. <laughs> the people and the crowd and everyone else, that's what made it move. Vegas is just limitless. There are literally no limits on anything out there, whether it be poker, eating, drinking, and anything else in between. That concludes episode one of our after story. Join us in episode two as we enter EDC.